This Hi, is Karen, Karen from JCK, JCK Marketing and, and today I want to show you how to show you add how one you page on your WordPress website. So as you can see in front of you I've got the JCK Marketing website so as you can see, I've got and I've already logged in open, to the dashboard got, area. Uh, one column website, so which is right on the dashboard and uh, if you go uh, to the left hand side you can see here the area so called some pages here that and if you hover over it pages, you'll see we've what got you want just to do. Text content. Do see um, all pages that are already there website, or do you want to add a new page within the website, sorry. so I'm and just going to go to uh, all pages subscribe to being, our marketing and newsletter I'm going to go so how do we do that the branding page well in WordPress we the side panels or side there. columns of your so website as you hover over widgets, the branding page so it asks you again you what you want to do do you want to edit it or do you want to view it to the dashboard which I've got I'm going to click on the edit button the widget area actually is and as you can see, when you tab. land, so if um, you go this to actually the looks a little bit confusing and because it's got lots of uh, um, HTML tags. These are the tags that shows itself uh, the website needs and so that it puts in formatting, whether it's a title this is um, where or just you, normal uh, paragraphs. To, go in order to, make to put it into the visual editor, yeah. which is what you'll be more um, so what familiar we have with, got is on the right on the hand, right hand side, side, I'll do it again and you can see where, where my um, hand is hovering. If I click on HTML, that's the HTML the code, you've got, and if you click um, back to visual, and, and that how is many pretty much what you see is what you get. It um, doesn't but always got, work like that. Um, this is our home page, and Let me just keep the current colour scheme I for you. So this is our branding page, and page, as you can um, see, it's see how to look good content. naked, it's got there this picture here. here. Which and is if I go to, to the share the page on our website, um, selected categories, which are categories of you'll see our there's website, the how to look and then the there's the picture, and here's all the and text. If I hop back okay. to the website, you'll see a very similar So thing. if you wanted you want to, to simply edit share the this love. page, you wanted to rewrite it, more or on branding, which the is picture, a category that we've then got, then it's quite a straightforward the thing to do. Box. And to create you a widget is quite a simple thing, thing to do. And um, your cursor you where you want to with add more um, text. Default standard and widgets. Then you can write so typically you'll always have text. a custom menu widget. You'll always have the most recent posts on your site. So if you've got a blog site and, and as you're soon quite as you hit the update your button, blogging, which you can you see can make here sure on the right hand, hand side, your, your website, update button your might be a little bit higher up depending on um, the theme and how that you're do using. That? I'll do that but it's always on the right hand side and it's always this blue colour. So you need to find the publish box uh, for your update button. And I'm going to just click sidebar, click update. And then if I go and refresh widget, all it demands here. that you do is give it a title. So you see our latest that that's immediately blog edited posts. the page. And then you can detail how many you want it to show. I'm so I'm now if I going put to go three and in remove there that text. and I now click save. If I go back and to if I the wanted to edit this photo website, I can just click on it and it shows this little picture here which says what do you want to do, do you want to Apologies edit the image slow internet. so I'm going but to click there on there and I'm going to say actually I don't want post to left align it you can see I want to right align it the last and I want to change the written. title because that and title doesn't really make any sense if I click on that it takes so me through to the last um, the last post that we wrote we'll call it so branding that's quite an easy thing to do and then again I hit the update button and you can see and as immediately said, on it's the changed to the right hand side and if I hover, hover over it there's um, the branding some of company. these will be slightly different to the ones that you're and seeing I'm going on to screen click here update. but the one thing that most of us will have is this um, arbitrary and refresh box. screen um, and you can see there so if I that the that image is now right aligned instead of left aligned. The page I'm again. actually now just going to go and put that back. I'll but you can so see how can easy see and flexible it um, is to it enables very you quickly to write, text, write text in um, into your side and area. And update your page. So now if you want to field. add a new page to your website, 
Um, that's and very simple as well. You, you go can back put to the left hand in, column you can put over words here in, you can put a and video you simply in click you on But if add I new. open the text up field that and we've let's just share say love, I wanted to see that actually write a little bit of text. It does about demand a little bit of HTML coding. coding in order to um, display the way that so you want it to display. Here so is where if I have a look at this right top text line here, about you can see that we've hosting. actually put a colour code in because we want the client to be in a different colour and I might the want to the rest put of the text. Uh, another, type, I go you know, back another title in there to my home page. Yes. So how to choose and the I best scroll website so host. That you can see You'll see that and because that's right at the top of, of your page is in orange. You would mark and that the way as an that H1 we've done tag, that a heading is one. simply by attributing this HTML code to that and piece you would of continue. writing. Now, for those of you that don't write HTML code, you Go might start here. thinking that actually that would be too difficult for you to do. Okay. Um, in some instances, um, it may be. But similarly, if you wanted to bold or italic anything, that it will enable you, you simply to just highlight the work that you for want to do. Yourself. And WordPress um, is and quite helpful as you hover over all of these HTML buttons. Editor, it does actually tell you um, um, what you it will do. So if I hit the italic here, it's and the bold it button, dot com you'll see it immediately puts the word HTML bold and italic. Online Similarly, HTML if you wanted editor, and this is where you can to put bullets. Literally, if you highlight the areas that you write want bulleted. What you want to write. You can either have an unordered list or In an ordered list, depending terms, on so whether you might like to, use like one, to two say, or three, um, um, etc., etc. So I'm just going to hit client over here, and because it's a new page, instead of happy, updating it, you actually have yes, to publish it. If you didn't want to publish it at this stage because it hadn't, you hadn't finished it and you didn't want to put it onto your website, website, you could just here. click on the saved draft. Now obviously your content is going to be much better so than that. So that would allow but you to save your I've work, but I've it still wouldn't be a published content, page, and, and therefore people wouldn't be able to see it on the widget area of my website. I'm actually very quickly going to publish. Actually, I want to page. make that I look a little bit nicer. Not got any so decent I amount of information or content on it. Now, to have a look at what you've written, middle, so it's middle aligned and not left aligned. If you click view page, I might like to you can see that's exactly words. what I have written on that Italic. particular page. And I might like to give it a different text colour. So now then, this, this is the, is the area that uh, uh, people forget to do because now that you've buttons, written that page, you, does. you need to so now go and assign it orange. to the menu um, system or the menu structure and then this that you've is the got. Bit, uh, and it will depend on how your website has been built um, as to how you do this. Sometimes it's just automatic and automatically your page will appear in your menu. But the way that this website is is that we've actually got a custom the menu button there so now to go and put that page and if I click into on it, the menu it will demand a URL you need to go the to the this, appearance area to pick up my home page URL and to and copy the menu bar and put it in and I'm going to click OK and so we've now got some content that's got a little bit area of that I want to attach in it. this page it's to is our secondary navigation, um, and which now is what this I want home to do strategy is I want to copy website, and put that into the which widget if area. I go back to so on the this website, website, you can see home I'm strategy hover over brand it. You need website. To get the source code. So I'm and what I'm simply going to do is I'm going to tick the page that I've just written, and I'm going to add it to the I'm menu. And now it's Take a simple it matter of just dragging and body dropping text it here. to where you, you don't want. need to worry about this headline. So I'm That's going just to put it under you, the website section, which text. makes sense. But I'm going and to if take I click on Save Menu, that body text, and I'm going and to I refresh. copy it. So I've pressed Control C on my PC here. The website. And I'm now, if I hover over the website the area, area, you can see that the website hosting page is there. In its full glory, and you can see I'm um, in the widget area. I'm in that's this not text a great box page to put to on a website. That in. So I'm simply going to remove it at this and stage. And then I'm going to click so if save. I it open, and I can hit remove. So again, if save we come the menu back again to our website, and we do and a that screen will now refresh, disappear from the website. 
So that's very simply how you can add new pages to the your website the free text or how you can edit pages that are already the text center in aligned. It's got different text here, different colored text. And I, if I hover over that, I'm not going to click on it because we won't go anywhere. But if you look um, here, I'll hover over the website here, then that would link to the home page again. So that's a very easy way of uh, for you to be able to um, use the widget areas is just by simply using this online HTML editor, which is quackit.com. Of course, you could do the same thing actually using a page on your website if you didn't want to use that you could go and create a, a new page and then copy and paste the HTML f from your page into your f uh, text field over here um, the only thing I would say is try and keep yourself tidy and once you've copied the content over you make sure your page gets deleted so that's it. That's how you get uh, information into the widget area of your WordPress website.